Today I'm going to show you how to set up your joystick configuration on Robotron. If you have a multi-cade with player one, player two, and you want to get the right controller setup or joystick setup for Robotron, I'm going to show you how to set that up in MAME. And I'm also going to show you how to set up a dual analog controller, whether you're using a Raspberry Pi or some device like that, where you want to use the left and right analog stick properly for Robotron. So let's get started. Let's load the game first. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a keyboard, let the game boot up completely, and then we're gonna hit tab on the keyboard. We're going to go to input this game. Make sure you do not go to input general, input this game, hit the enter key, and then your main menu is gonna come up. Now yours is gonna look a little different. I've been messing around in here and changing some of the options already, but what you're gonna wanna do is go down to player one right up and we're going to hit the enter key on the keyboard and then we're going to push up on the right joystick then we're going to go down to the next one this is player one right down we're going to hit enter and then we're going to push down we're then going to go down to left enter left down enter right now you can see all the controls are set up. We're going to scroll down and exit. Turn to game. Unplug our keyboard. And we're going to test it out now. There we go. You can see that we're shooting in all directions. And we can move with the left joystick properly. That one was already configured correctly. And that will work for your multi-cade with two players to set it up properly. Okay, let's show you how to set up a dual analog stick controller, one like this. I'm gonna show you how to do this through the retro arch menu, which means you're gonna need a retro arch configuration type emulator, a lib retro emulator and you're gonna enter the RetroArch menu. You're gonna to go to Quick Menu to Controls. You're gonna to go to Port 1 Controls, and we're going to go to our left analog configuration. Now, your D-pad will normally work right off the bat, but your left directional analog will not. We're gonna just take this and we're gonna change it to joystick right. Joystick right. Then we're gonna go down here. We're gonna change the joystick left, down, and up. And now, once you do this, your left analog stick will move in direction. Now let's take a look at the right analog stick. For this one, it's gonna be blank and it should work as a shooter option if you use your right analog stick. But if it doesn't and you need to configure these buttons in order to use your right analog stick to shoot, you wanna match your right analog stick with the buttons that align to that. So the right button here, if we scroll back up, you can see right here, our, uh, excuse me, right here, our right button is auto three key A button four. We would go down here and we would change this to button four. And the same you would do for left, you'd go up to the left, look at what your left button is right here. It says button two, and you would go and you would change it to button two. You shouldn't have to do this. The right analog stick should work already as a shooter. But if it doesn't, you can register these buttons here. And then once you're done, I'm going to clear this out because I don't need it. Once you're done, you're going to want to go back out and then save game remap file right here. Don't save uh, the core remap. You want to save game remap specific for that game. Once you do that, it will work with a dual analog stick and uh, you will be able to play with both analog sticks on your Robotron game. For now, guys, I hope this helped. If you have any questions, leave them in the uh, comments, and I will be sure to answer them. Thanks for watching The Rexer Show.